It was a very special victory for me, um, a circuit that I've enjoyed in the past and I was second there last year so it's been kind to me the last couple of years. Every race you do is experience um, but I don't think I'll change my driving style, my way of thinking because I think as, as an F1 driver you never give up and uh, whatever position you find yourself in you still always fight to get the best position by the end of the race. We have a few new parts and I hope that they're going to make a bit of a difference in qualifying and bring us closer to the, to the Red Bulls. Sebastian Vettel has a 60 point lead, um, but we saw him crack under pressure at the last race, which is good to see. I think Formula One as a whole wants to see somebody challenging uh, Sebastian and I think there's going to be a few drivers here that can really fight with Sebastian for the victory. The aim is the same as every Grand Prix, it's to win and uh, I think from my point probably too, just to get a, another finish in would be good. There's a lot of long straights here in Valencia and uh, a lot of very slow speed corners and it's, it's a street circuit so most of them are blind, it's very very tricky. You need to have quite good, uh, good low speed downforce um, which I think hopefully for this one we should have so that'd be good. I think there are 71 gear changes per lap around here which is massive. So there's a lot of gear changes here and um, that's something that we just hope uh, we have a strong gearbox and I think that we do and I think can make a, a big difference around here. Uh, today the event was fun, you know, I, I always love driving a go-kart, it's very unusual that I get to, to jump into a kart. Um, you know, it's a very small circuit but it's still fun. Uh, and also golf, you know, some, that's not one of my specialities. Anything to do with a ball I'm not very good at, but it was, it was quite interesting learning about putting. But I think it's, a, you know, it's great, you know, trying to help out, you know, people that, that are in sort of the lower formulas of motor racing but also in, in golf and other sports around the world and uh, really giving them the chance to succeed in their sport and uh, hopefully we'll see, uh, see them succeeding in the future. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely into, um, into tennis. I don't play it myself but I love watching it and a uh, massive fan of you know, um, Andy and, and Federer and Nadal. So it'll be interesting to see those guys at, their, at the top of their game. Hopefully I get to go and watch one of the games. Um, I have been invited, so I'm going to try and make it out to one of them. Well, you know, racing is, is what I love doing, uh, but I think you need something else and, uh, as a hobby. Training and, and racing in triathlons is something I love doing. So. Um, first of all, it keeps me fit for racing a Formula 1 car, which is most important, but secondly, I can get away from F1 and really um, be competitive and do something else. And um, I've got Hyde Park coming up, which is the Olympic course in 2012 for the triathlon, so uh, I'm looking forward to that challenge. <laughs>